just a little while ago, I released this YouTube subscribe button call to action animation for DaVinci Resolve. Today, I've got a really cool little update for that, but because this will be a just quick video talking about that, I did want to take this opportunity uh, to remind all of you out there that those who join the membership on my site, Sterling Supply Co, uh, do get access to this pack of four of my larger paid products, 3D Screen Pro, Essential Text Presets, 3D Transitions, and Layout Pro. I just did a video going over a Layout Pro. I want to do another one of those for 3D Screen Pro, and I have a pretty uh, massive update planned for my Essential Text Presets. Of course, there's always a page full of free downloads on that site as well, but if you've been interested on picking up any of these larger packs, check out the membership. But if you follow the link to either uh, download or update this YouTube uh, sub call to action, you will get to this DRFX file. You just double click that and it will either install it for the first time or ask you if you want to overwrite that. You can click overwrite. And then what I'm going to do to demonstrate, I'm going to create a new timeline. I'm going to call this 1080. Hop over to my project settings and make sure we are at that 1080. That will be okay. I can hop into titles, Sterling Supply Company. We have this YouTube sub graphic and you can see, wow, it pops up. Great. You can pull in your own profile picture, uh, change up this text. And this has been designed to fit this new uh, YouTube update that we've recently had. So we have this cool like ambient lighting. Uh, you can always hop over to a light mode as well. Looks great. And a small update that I've already pushed but didn't talk about in a video yet. I do have this invert masks option. Uh, you see, especially on dark mode, if you click that, it might really break something. But this exists because there is currently an issue uh, with some AMD uh, graphics cards. And when you load up the preset by default, um, it looks like this. It looks bad. So now you have this toggle if you need to invert that to fix them. Cool. That was already there already. But if I create a new timeline, uh, call this 1082. Uh, <laughs> Hop into format. I am still going to do 1920 by 1080, but I'm going to check this button to use vertical resolution. And if I open that up, scale back, you say, hey, uh, now this is that vertical resolution for like YouTube shorts or TikTok or anything else. And now on this vertical timeline, I can grab that same YouTube sub graphic. And you'll see um, now because of this update, uh, it also works. You will notice just because of some of the things happening on the background, by default, this profile picture is now uh, uh, smaller than you would want it to, but you can hop into these profile picture controls, scale up that inside scale, and you're back up and running. And if you want to change uh, you know, the, the basic look of it, you can come down to these animation controls um, to especially change this position or the scale of how you know how much you want that to come up in frame. This great slick uh, subscribe button call to action and now it works great for YouTube shorts. I guess you could also use it uh, like for TikTok, but you know, like the subscribe button, you know, it's a, it's a YouTube thing. <laughs> and hey, uh, by the way, it's not really a part of the update, but I did test this and it works great on iPad too. If you've already picked up this preset, you should have received uh, an update linking back to uh, download the new version. But maybe if you missed the initial launch and you want, you know, a, a new animation that you can uh, customize exactly the way you want, and that looks great with this new uh, YouTube redesign they've recently pushed. Here you go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.